day everyone and here I am again here is another level up video for all the teachers and speaking of level up of course with this new pandemic that we are in the new normal we teachers need to level up our skills okay especially all the applications that um, we needed for our uh, teaching and with that, I am here to share with you how to change your Google Classroom theme or banner. Yes, as you can see, Google Classroom banner on our Google Class. But first, what is a Google Classroom? A Google Classroom serves as our virtual classroom together with our students. We're in, we, we as a teacher can post materials or assignments or quizzes for the students to do or to answer. And there are a lot of features on Google Classroom that we can customize. If you already have or created your Google Classroom, then you are one step ahead. Welcome back again. So let's open our Google Chrome first because this is the first step. And, and then we cannot change our Google Classroom banner or theme if we don't have our Google Classroom. So we need to create one. And as you can see here, there are nine dots. I already have my personal account. So let's just this one kick this one click this one and then look for our google classroom so i have here a google classroom i'll just click it and then after a while it will lead me into this one so there are already three uh google uh, class that is in here so Diba, sabi ko kanina, I will try or I will help you create your Google Classroom for those who don't have their Google Classroom yet. So, as you can see, there is a plus sign in here. You have to click it and you can see two choices. It's either join class and create class. This join class is for the students and this create class is for the teachers so let's click create class and then i read and understand the above notice already let's click it and continue and you need to fill up the class name the section the subject in your room so for example we have our classroom name is english 5 and then their section is diamond or and then the subject is English also and their room is room 103 but that is just an example after supplying everything or writing everything in the blank let's create and our Google Classroom Five is the subject, diamond is the what do you call that? The section. And here you can see class code. What is this for this class code in here? This class code is necessary for your students to be able for them to join your Google Classroom. You need to send this code to them para makain sila. And then meron na rin default. There is already a default theme or banner on your Google Classroom. So, we have here a feather, a book, a bottle of ink, and a, a glass, glasses. And you can see here, uh, you can select your theme if you don't want this color blue. So, you just click select theme. 
and then if you want this one you can choose it if you if you like this one you can so let's try this one and then click select class theme and as you can see it's changing and voila you have another but if you wish to customize your google banner you need to upload a photo or an animated one whatever you wish to put on your google classroom so select a photo from your computer and then i already created mine so i'll just need to select it from here and i have here an animated one i don't have the not animated banner but this one is good so let's just upload it and then wait for maybe 10 seconds 10 seconds then 9 8 and it's not 10 seconds pala so i need to adjust this one so that it will fit our banner and that's how it is done after moving or resizing it then you have to select class theme and as you can see it's changing okay it's changing can you see the difference from the very placid banner to this animated one and that is how you can change your google classroom banner and this is now the very fun part of our video which is we are going to create a fun animated bitmoji google banner for our classroom so to get started let's open our google chrome yes this account that i have here is a personal one and then after that uh, you can see here the nine dots in here you just click it and then look for the google slide and here it goes we have google slides already and then let's click it and it will lead us on this framework and then let's click blank because we are just going to make a blank and then we will decorate it okay so let's click blank and then this will show up this kind of feature this google slides that we have here is like a microsoft powerpoint okay version 2.0 and then the next thing that we should do is to click file because this um presentation here is not the typical uh banner to be used on our google classroom so let's change it let's change the size and then let's click file and look for page setup here click page setup and then click this part and then click custom because we are going to customize the um, size of our banner and the size of it is 16.67 by 4.17 that is the typical size of a google classroom banner after writing those then let's click apply and voila it's different right it becomes uh, small and then to get rid of these text boxes we need to click on this part right click and then look for apply layout let's click apply layout and look for blank this one just click it and the text box already disappeared 
And then, we don't want a white background for our Google Classroom. So, we change it by clicking this part, this background. And then, choose image. And then, for me, I'm going to click Google Image Search. I want to search my background on Google. So, I'll just encode a typical classroom a floor and wall background. And then, click it. And it will give you a variety of choices. So, let's choose the best of the best. A typical classroomish setup. And then I choose this one. And then click insert. And then click done. And this is now our background. After applying the background, let's insert details or images that you can um, search on web or you can upload and it is really important to write the word transparent when you are searching okay because this transparent um, image here has no background so let's uh, write transparent and we are looking for a bookshelf and let's enter and it will give up us a lot of choices again but for me i will choose this one it's cute and then i'll insert it and wait for the image and we already have our uh, bookshelf so i will resize it make sure that when you put this one on this part make sure that it is touching the floor you can put this one anywhere you like. For me, I will put it here. And then I wanted to uh, put a bulletin. Okay. So I'll just search the web again. I will remove bookshelf. But the transparent word there is, and then parin siya, transparent bulletin. I love bulletins. Ayan. And then, and a lot of choices again. It's up to you to choose. For me, this one. Okay, I'll just click insert. And then, you wait again. And then, resize it. And I will put this bulletin on this part. And I will move this one closer to the... And, and then this one, I will put it in here. And then, I wanted to put like a television on this part. So, I'll search for a television or a monitor, I should say. Transparent monitor. And, ayan, ang dami pero desktop naman siya. It's desktop. And, Okay, I'll search another transparent television. And there's a lot of choices again. And I wanted a flat one, this one. Okay, I like this one, so I'll insert it. And there you go, an old television. But it's okay. It's your choice. Like, it's hanging in here. And then, I'll just stretch it to fit on this. Okay, now I have my television. And then I wanted to add uh, a clock. So, I'll search for a clock. Clock. Or... Let's choose the best clock, the most beautiful that matches our classroom. And there's a lot of choices I can choose. OMG, I'll just go up. Mm. 
and uh, this green one can do i'll just click and then insert there you go a green clock i will just put it here it should be smaller in the middle between the shelf and the bulletin and then i wanted to put um a plant like a, a flower pot on my classroom so i'll just search for a plant with vase and wow there's a lot of choices plantitas plantitos let's select the best one mm, how about how about oh that's a vase it's not actually okay i like this one so i'll just click this and insert and i have now a plantita plantita i will place it on this part wow it's so nice Plantita, it's looking nice. Make sure that it is touching the uh, floor. It's okay. I will put it here to add a aesthetic appeal to our classroom. And then I wanted to add also paintings. Paintings on my classroom. So I'll look for paintings. Oh, there's a lot of choices again. But I want it like an abstract, abstract painting. Mm, how about... There's a lot of choices. How about... Let me see. Okay, this one. This one can do. Let's... Put it here and resize it. I'll just put it here and then I will add another one to create a balance. Paintings again and then I'll click this one. It has the same size with this one. So let's create a balance between them. Mm -hmm. and there you go we already have our um, paintings and then i want to add a chair for my bitmoji so i'll just insert image search on the web and click on sofa wow social a sofa and we have a lot of choices again i'll just choose the simple one um oh this one this yellow looks so simple but oh wow it's so stylish i wanted to uh re what do you call that oh Palitan ko yung position nito. I will change. So, I'll just right click and then rotate and then flip horizontally so that it will face this way. But because I don't like this way, I will rotate it again and flip horizontally again so that it will face on this part. My plantita is covered. And then I will just resize it a little. And then I will now add my Bitmoji. My Bitmoji is like me. I already created my Bitmoji and added on my uh, Google's extension. So it's already here. It's already here. I'll just click it and wait for a couple of seconds and it will appear. 
here. But before putting the Bitmoji, we need to at least copy these slides for six times to be animated. To get animation, we need to duplicate this slides. So right click and then just duplicate the slides for mm, six times. For me, it's six times. It's already four, two more. Duplicate slide and then duplicate slide. And then let's put our first bitmoji on this first slide. So I'll click again the bitmoji uh, here and then let's wait again. Uh, for example, um, I will choose someone who is speaking. That, uh, that is the first one that I wanted to like show. So this one, I like this one. So I'll just right click and then copy image and then go back again here and paste it or control V. Our bitmoji is already here. So let's move it in here on this part. Yeah, and peekaboo. And then I will choose again a bitmoji on my next slide. So I'll just click this bitmoji here. And I wanted someone who is like um, walking. So I'll just search walking. And it will give you a lot of choices. You just need to wait. And walking bitmoji or yes walking this one holding a coffee i want this one so i'll copy the image and then paste it on my second oh it's not the other one it's not properly um properly copied so i will do it again this one control copy image and then I'm going to paste it and there you go. Make sure that uh, it has the same size with your first Bitmoji. The head is bigger, so I will make this one bigger too. Bigger like that. May I see the first one? And more. Make sure that the feet of your Bitmoji touches the floor. Okay? So that is the next slide. And then for the third slide, I am going to select my Bitmoji that is like running or walking fast. So again, I will search for walking. This one, it has the same. I will just copy again and then paste. And there you go. We have our third bitmoji. Again, make sure that it has the same size with your first and second uh, bitmoji. May I see if it has the same? Oh, it's bigger. This again. Oh, it's smaller already. I will resize. Maybe like that. And then for the fourth one, I want it like it's um, somebody who is a hooray like that celebrating hooray who is standing because it it is not showing the one that i wanted i will choose someone who is running 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 And okay, I have here someone who is running. I'll just click it and copy image and then post it again in here or paste, I should say. Let's paste it. Let's wait for a moment. And there. She goes, but it is facing the wrong direction. 
I'll just need to uh, do it like this, move it like that, so that it will face this way. And then resize. Make sure that they have the same size with this one. Let's make it bigger. And then for our fifth slide, I want a bit emoji that is um, like celebrating. Celebrating. Like celebrating. Hooray! And let me see. Oh, I have here one. So I'll just copy the image. And then again, I will just paste it in here. Paste. And there you go. I will put it here. Oh, it's jumping. It's celebrating. It's jumping. Let's make it bigger so that it has the same uh, size with the fourth one. And more. Bigger. Should be bigger. May I see if it has the same? Okay, let's make it bigger more. And let's see. One, two, three. And I want the last slide. Uh, I want my Bitmoji to be like just seated on the sofa. So I will choose a uh, seat, sitting. And there we have here uh, this one. I will just copy it and then right click and paste. Resize again and then let's put her on the sofa. And that's pretty it. That's our slide. And in order for this slide to be animated, let's click add ons. Let's click add-ons. And I already have here Creator Studio. But if you don't have Creator Studio, Studio yet, you need to get it. Uh, just click get add-ons and type Creator Studio. And add-ons and then click Creator Studio. And then open. Let's open it. And it's already working. Working the magic. It's already Working the magic. And let's wait a couple of seconds. And after seconds, this Creator Studio for Google Slides will appear. And let's customize the output width and let's make it into a desirable width for uh, Google banner so the size will be 1600 and i want my slide to be like fast so i will put 0 0.5 0 0.5 seconds and make sure that your format is animated gif and then after that you need to click go and you just need to wait again and again Let's wait for it. And it's already complete. And for you to be able to see the outcome of your um, Bitmoji, animated Bitmoji Google banner for your Google Classroom, just go to your Google Drive. Just go to your Google Drive. And my drive is located here. So I'll just find it. So here it is. I'll just open it. Make sure to, to put a title on your presentation. But for me, I did not put any title of it. It's just untitled presentation. And it will automatically uh, lead you to this. So I already have my output here, Untitled Presentation. And let's, let's open it. Let's open our output. And here it is in 3, 
two, one. And this is now my animated Bitmoji banner for my Google Classroom. And I wanted to download this one so that I will be able to upload this on my Google Classroom. So just click download and it will scan first the virus and then automatically it will be downloaded on your computer. After downloading, I will now go to my classroom, Google Classroom, and then I will change my banner. So I will go to my classroom and change my banner. Animated banner. Let's change this English 6. And upload a photo. And then select a photo from your computer. And this is the banner that we just made a while back. So I'll just click it. And wait for the magic. It will be uploaded on our Google Classroom theme. In three, two, one. And then we need to adjust also this their size, its size pala. So, adjust natin siya. And there we go. Kapag na-adjust na natin siya, select a theme, and then, maiiba yung ati Google banner. And this is now our final product. And I hope it helped you a lot. And that's all for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can also share this one to, the, uh, to all teachers that you know. And make this video a gift for your teachers. If you are a student watching this one, make this video a gift to your teacher for the teacher's month. And God bless us all, everybody. Bye-bye.